Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Justice for All. I'm using a guide again, so uh, in the YouTube comments, you can tell me how much I suck. Let's do it, man. The Lost Turnabout. I remember how to play this game. You can't run forever, Mr. Phoenix Wright. What the fuck? Silence! Oh, God, hammer me, Daddy. You are no longer worthy of your title. Dude, look at me with my uh -oh. jacket off. Hell yeah, dude, I'm on the prowl. I finally found it. The love of my life. This fire extinguisher. What is happening in the first three seconds of this game? It's nothing personal, Mr. Attorney. He's got the Aaron Hansen blonde streak. Those guards are still there. Haven't moved. Who the fuck are you? Good morning. Ah! I'm placing my life in your hands today, Mr. Phoenix, right? Life? In my hands? Life in these hands? So, this might sound bad, but, uh, who are you? I know this isn't as extreme, but that's just like having a one-night stand with somebody, waking up and being like, Oh, man, what's your name, by the way? How can you do this to the fragile heart of a girl about to go on trial? Because I'm a man and we're fucking dumb. That's literally all I got. You're absolutely horrible. Oh, shit, we got new tracks? Hell yeah. Court is now in session for the trial of Maggie Bird. Maggie Bird? Miss Bird. As I'm sure you're well aware, the defendant is accused of killing her lover. Oh. What's worse, her lover was a fellow police officer. Oh, shit. You did what to a policeman? Was he half bird? What's with the feathers? The prosecution calls detective- Oh, gumshoe! My dad! Uh, he was pushed down from the benches on the upper path. Sir. The landing beat his body up and snapped his neck. Oof, ow, owie, his bones. The victim grabbed his killer's glasses as he was being shoved, sir. And I'm about to bust. And he busted right on them before he died, leaving a semen stain so makes the glasses unusable. Real, real shame there, judge. The victim did indeed leave a name, Maggie. However, the defendant's name is actually spelled Maggie with an E and a Y. If they were truly lovers, it would be impossible for him to not have known her name. What's up? Uh, man here. Happens. Maggie, I mean Officer Bird, had gotten Officer Prince a present. Death. It was something she had bought over two months ago. D d death. I should know, because she came to me to ask what she should get him. Death. Hurry and show the glove to the court. Well, I didn't think it had anything to do with the case. Why is it yellow and gross? I hate it. It looks like a bundle of bananas. It's a bunch of bananas with a fuckhole. Listen, man. It's their own relationship. I don't judge. We don't kink shame. Maybe the dude was in the bananas. Maybe he had low potassium. It's, uh... Rather yellow, isn't it? Even the fucking judge notices. He doesn't notice anything. That's the glove, right? Yeah, exactly. Right. He's left-handed. You don't wear a glove on your... Your dominant hands. Left-handed. Why, you're absolutely right. No, it's for left-handed. You fucking idiot, judge. Are you listening? The evidence the prosecution has presented has failed to prove the defendant's guilt. In fact, I believe you have proven her to be innocent. No! All right. You did it, Mr. Wright. I will now announce my verdicts. No, not yet. I mean... Oh, classic. Classic music. We would like to call our next witness to the stand. What? Okay. Roger. Roger, Roger. She's a droid! I solved the murder. Roger, Roger. It was on the day of the crime just before 6 p.m. I picked up a lost cell phone while on a walk with Dustin. Oh, no! The blue badger! And the music. The blue badger's gonna strike, chat! He's back! Ah, you were here all along. Oh, no. Now, who in the heck is this? Uh, you know, her name's Maya. She's a, a medium. She could tr transform into her 
older, bustier sister or something, and she kind of left at the end of the last game. Yeah, it all makes it anime. So, so how's it going? Is there a word for worse than abysmal? Ray Narvaez Jr. Use that one. Yes, Your Honor. The prosecution calls its next witness, a drifter who has taken a walk in the park on the day of the murder. Monka Omega. Dick Wellington, huh? Cool name. I am a banana. Your Honor, I think this proves one very important fact. This witness <laughs> loves bananas. <laughs> anyway, now is our chance to deep six this guy. Dude, I've been trying to deep six Tina for years and she won't let me. Maybe when we get married. The witness, Mr. Wellington, you are. Ha. Ha 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 ha. Oh my god. Please present the one piece of evidence that will explain everything. Why, thank you. How nice. Here, please have one of mine. <laughs> cool, we just exchanged business cards. Hell yeah. This card is important because of what is on the back. Huh? You wrote your cell phone number on the back, but that's exactly it. Can you please call this number from your cell phone? Huh? Right now? But court is still in session. It's okay. You'll see. Oh. Okay, if you say so. Is the defense preparing something, Mr. Wright? We are going to call my cell phone now, and then the court will see everything for what it is. Of all the idiotic, stupid things, too. He stole my phone! That fuck! When you went to retrieve your cell phone, you mistakenly took the wrong one. The spooky music. Uh... All right. Choke me. Now then, this court finds the defendant, Maggie Bird, not guilty. We did it. It's probably because of me. Huh? My whole life had been nothing but a whirlwind of bad luck and failures. Your whole life? Can't be that bad, can it? Since I was six months old, when I fell from the ninth floor of an... Oh my god. Did you die? Well, Mr. Wright, Maya, I should get going. She's gonna walk out this building and get hit by a bus. Who the fuck is this? I was murdered. By that person. What? Deja vu! I finally get to see you again, and... It's not your fault. You didn't do it. No. I did it. I killed that person. All right, well, case two's done. This bitch did it. On the case three. Doom, da doom, doom, doom. Though I think we. Who the fuck are you? That nurse had the nerve to go and die before admitting to her wrongdoing. She didn't even offer any sort of explanation to me, and that's the kicker. She up and has herself a grand old accident and crashes her car. <laughs> oh my god. Oh yeah? I wanted to ask you about that girl I saw earlier. Do you know her? Oh, you mean Pearly? Pearly? Pearl Faye. She's my cousin. She's got more forehead than I do, and that is impressive. She's rivaling Peyton Manning. She's got a five head. Why are her eyes so low? It's like someone randomized the me. Cousin. Wait, that means, is she also a... Yep, she's a medium too. Well, she's probably a small, because she's a child. Clothing joke. Framerate.merch.com Please buy small sizes. We have a lot. Oh, Lord. Uh, I am Mystic Maya's aunt, Morgan Fay. Of course, another M. So why do you add Mystic to Maya's name? Isn't that a little strange? The channeling will take place here in the channeling chamber, good sir. As you can see, I am in the process of preparing. Yeah? Looks like you're getting fucking drunk off whatever what's in there. Looks like glue. You drinking glue, Afro hair? Hey, you. Hold on now. This gal's got a few questions to ask. Huh? I'm sure I've heard that southern accent somewhere before. Oh, no. Uh, you are... Uh... A lot of hair? Holy shit! A uh, lot of hair, was it? 
L Lana who? Well, you best not be making fun of my hair now. Oh, fuck. Shots fired. Everyone get down. Hey, now. What was that just now? It came from inside the channeling chamber. Oh. Uh-oh. Dr. Gray! I was murdered. Maya? That man murdered me. So I killed him? Shall I show you to the, the scene of the crime, Detective Jim Shoe? Uh, my name is a Jim Shoe. What's up? Oh, yeah. What? What is it? I took some hot pictures earlier. Go on. Like, how can I help you? Oh, my God. She's redheaded. Yikes. I'm in trouble. Please stay calm. But there's been a murder. Um, so, like... A murder is that thing where, like, one person kills another, right? All right, you can have red hair, but I am over you. Talking to you was a mistake. I should have just been ignorant. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to, like, introduce myself. My name is <laughs> Eeny Meeny. <laughs> also, why is she dancing the whole time? What happened here in this room after I left? Well... First, I struck Mystic Maya on the head to make her go unconscious, correct? That is correct. Next, I performed the spirit severing technique. Ah, yes, I am familiar with the SST. Apparently, I'm supposed to examine this plant. Charlie. A quite decorative plant. It's a memento of my boss, Mia, who passed away. The rest of the room may be in shambles, but I always manage to care for this little fella. Hell yeah. Shout out to this plant. My best friend. My only friend. I'm Phoenix Wright. I, uh, worked with Maya. And Charlie, the plant. Why is she doing the I'm gonna... <laughs> she's doing the I'm gonna stick my fucking arm in your ass motion. That's what she's doing. She's like, bend over because I'm gonna fucking punch you in the colon. She's gonna kick my ass right now, dude. She's gonna destroy me. Why am I being boiled into a bright red lobster by the... Oh, dude, chat. I want Red Lobster again. I want the surf, and I want the turf, dude. Fuck. Dude, and the biscuits? Not, 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 not. Fuck, I want Red Lobster. You know, doing that while a little girl was on screen can be taken out of context. I'll see you guys in 25 years when I get out of jail. Fuck. Don't clip that. Hee <laughs> hee. I can tell you're a good person. All right, Mr. Nick. I may be small, but I'm going to help you in any way I can. Flip that on Jamie. I may be small, but I'm going to kill you. I think Jamie said she could power bomb me through a table, if I remember correctly. Which I don't think she can, but she can kill me. I just don't think she could power bomb me through a table. That's how we'll end uh, the last day of RTX. Everyone come to the booth, and Jamie will power bomb me through a table. Just because at that point, I will be so tired, I will not care. I will hope she kills me on the impact. Hey, you're a cute kid. Well, I'm 29, but thank you. Oh, right. Hey, I know. I'll show you something cool. How's this? A real, genuine pistol. Oh, my God. Detective Gumshoe, what are you doing showing her something that dangerous? Oh, sorry. Hey, kid, want to play with a gun? All right, pal. Well, the prosecutor for the trial is Prosecutor Von Karma. Oh, not Von Karma. Fucking Belmont-looking ass. But didn't Von Karma stand trial and... That's where the other piece of bad news comes in. The Von Karma you're facing tomorrow is actually his successor. Oh. Literally, pal, it's prosecutors. Oh, God. It's his fucking kid! And I get terrible flashbacks to that case. Edgeworth, my love. Oh, fuck. Hello again. We seem to be seeing a lot of each other today. Who would have thought a red-headed female character I would hate to see? I want to ask you about the victim, Dr. Gray. I, like, totally don't know him. What the fuck? What is that? You can see it, can't you, Mr. Nick? You can see the lock on the person's heart? Oh! Mia. She's Maya's oldest sister and my mentor. Just in case she didn't play the first game. Oh, she's also dead. All right, I'll show it to her. The key I hold. The banana glove. Mr. Edgyworth? Who is that? Uh, he's Nick's rival. Well, also, he's a friend. Objection! 
It's back, bitch. Dude, when the DJ plays this in the club. I've never been to a club. Do DJs still play at clubs? Maya, please don't mention that name ever again. Huh? But why, Nick? I'm I'm sorry, Maya. I forgot you don't know. He he's he's gone. And he's not coming back. What? Court is now in session for the trial of Maya Faye. Again. Oh. She doesn't look young. And she also looks like a gym leader. Or like a member of the Elite Four. I gave up a promising career in Germany and came to this country for one sole reason. Is 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 that a is that a whip? Well, I mean, her dad did look like a Belmont character, so I guess it makes sense that she, too, looks like a Castlevania character. There certainly is evidence of a uh, back spray of blood on this. Oh, yeah? Judge, is there evidence of blood on the outfit? Detective Dick Gumshoe, DDG. My dad. The moment of truth, what will be in that picture? Uh, let's see here. This here's the picture. Huh. Well, that's pretty damning. How about the defense? No further questions, I presume? I couldn't protect Maya. I fucked up. The defense. The defense. Time to pull out the banana glove. Wait, I have one thing. The banana glove. Hey, man, listen. I uh, interviewed a parrot. Why can't I interview the banana glove? Oh. Hey. I guess I made it just in time, wouldn't you say? You are my dad. You are my dad. Wookie, wookie, wookie. Fucking, what is that, Pearl? She changed from pearls? You, but pearls. Her clothes are a bit small. You fucking, you think? You're gonna get me banned on Twitch, you bitch. Now then, this cro uh, this court would like to end the cross-examination here. Please wait, Your Honor. I'm about to bust. All right, Your Honor. I have busted. Case closed. A Von Karma's case is perfect. Absolutely flawless. And what better time than this for you to see that? But, I mean, I have some place I must go after this. Is it Red Lobster? You getting the biscuits, my dude? Maybe some lobster pizza, some surf and turf? That's not her face. That's Mimi. I know those eyes. Uh, this is your chance, Phoenix. Load all you've got into this one shot, all right? Kobe! Why is it lately all I want to do is cry? What a fucking mood. My son's here. Hello, everybody. It's me, Pepe. How's it going? Could you sit on my shoulder, you cute, adorable asshole? Okay. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Looks like something's written on it. I am, huh? Weird. Do you think it's supposed to be Mia? Is it an anagram? Is that what it's called, an anagram? It's supposed to be Mia. It's Will I Am. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Will I Am's in here. <laughs> All that's left of Black Eyed Peas is in this urn. Taboo carries it from town to town. I don't like the face. Don't you see? Take a look around. Finally, my chance has come. I've waited for this day for so long. That's right. Prepare yourself, dear Misty. Oh, hell yeah. She's going to get her second badge. Rock on, Morgan. Hope you brought an electric or a grass type. I'm going to hit a whip one more time. Don't mind me. All right. Uh, Nick? Yeah? Why do you believe in me? That's what the guide says. I think that maybe before you even called the spirit, you were drugged. Drugged? I think this was planned from the very beginning. Hey, I'm telling you, quit following me, you hear? I'm a worthless piece of trash. Lay your eyes on me and they'll turn to dust. Do you guys need another screen cap? Because that is, uh... That's also pretty... I'm gonna give it to you. Here's your screen cap. What were you doing in there? What were you thinking? I'm a bad person. Just another piece of human trash. I need another hole to crawl into. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, Mr. Nick? What is it, Pearls? 
I'm I'm going to be banished, aren't I? I really don't think it's going to happen. I mean, I bet Mystic Amy's happy to be freed from that cramped urn. Yeah, I hope so. No harm done and a happy resolution. Phew. Whew. But seriously, this bitch is going to the Shadow Realm. Uh, looks like I better go... Uh, looks like I don't have, uh... <clears throat> much of a choice. Better go check on this... Ooh, hottie clinic, huh? Hell yeah. Oh. My fucking... God. We are not looking good on the whole hottie thing. Uh, yes. Are you a doctor here? Yes, I'm Director Hottie. Oh, boy. You are not. What do you know about Miss Eeny Meeny? Oh, he opened his eyes. Now you're talking. Hmm, yes, that girl, she was transferred from the general hospital. Why does he got a fucking diddle hand? Get out of here. Well, you know, I think I can let you in on a secret. What's that? I'm not a real director. Yeah, the, oh, put the hand down. And my specialty is in young... Oh, my God. I gotta go. My mom's calling. Yes, it was an accident. An accident. They're scary, yes. Cars, hmm? Yes. Oh. You mean it was a traffic accident? Her whole face was burned like pad toast. It was bad. Very bad. Was it really that bad? Hmm. It was a good thing that Miss Eni had a picture of herself. I heard that picture was how they put her face back together. Jesus. I mean, he was useful. But he was also freaking me the fuck out. Oh my god. Was that a ghost? I think I've sufficiently proven one thing, Miss Quiney. You are a masterful liar. Oh, there it is again. You shot Dr. Gray with her own two hands. Do you deny it? I think we got it. Right now, it's impossible to prove that Dr. Gray did, in fact, drug Miss Miney's sister. Yeah. Which means I'll have to work it from another angle. From Kurt Angle! Bup, 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 bup. He fucking comes down the fucking... Alright, anyway. Like, around that time, I was, like, really close to getting my license. My sis was, like, this totally big fan of cars and, like, really valued them. She, like, had just gotten this really shiny, bright red sports car. She, like, would say things like, No way I'm letting a noob drive my car. Whoa! N-bomb! Any, please. Hmm, I see. A bright red car for sports. That's what you got out of that? Uh, it was a new car. Yeah, she had, like, just gotten it. It was, like, from the UK. Hmm, the UK. Were those her boyfriend's initials? Your Honor, which side is the passenger seat, the left or the right? Oh, of a UK car. Or an English car. Well, it's on the right side, of course, because the driver's on the left side. That would be if it were an American car, but it would be the opposite if it's a British car. Opposite? The two of them are riding in a British car. In that case, the passenger side would be on the left side. Miss Miney, you said that you had escaped using the right side door of the car. But if you were sitting there, then that means you were in the driver's seat. Oh, there's the ghost. Who is the person standing at the witness stand right now? Oh. Monk Omega? The witness's real name is... Director Hottie! Mimi Miney, that is your real name. Objection. Of all the foolish dribble, then how do you explain her appearance? The witness had several facial burns when she was admitted to the hospital. So for the purpose of facial reconstruction, the surgeons used the picture. Facial reconstruction surgery? I'm about to bust. That was unex... <laughs> A little inappropriate, but thank you for the order. Framerightmerch.com. The one who died that night was Eeny Meeny. Her sister Mimi then stole her face and was reborn as any. With this, she effectively erased Mimi Miney from existence. Dr. Gray wanted to call back the spirit of a dead person. Specifically, the spirit of the nur his nurse that died in the crash. However, that would not have been possible because Mimi Miney was still in fact alive. That's right. I admit it, my real name is Mimi Miney. That jerk. If only he hadn't thought about that channeling mumbo jumbo. Mumbo jumbo? Eekum bokum. From Banjo Kazooie. This is preposterous. 
I'm perfect. Me, Francisca Von Karma. Going to enjoy the news tonight, Miss Von Karma. How about you? It's going to be broadcast all over the world, right? Your defeat, that is. Ow, ow. Oh my god. What the fuck? And one more for good measure. <laughs> so I will go ahead and pronounce the verdict. Not guilty. First my sister, now my aunt. Oh wait, yeah. I guess the aunt just went to jail. Because she colluded. Four years from now, a new master will be born into the Karina village. And that person will be you, Maya. And... But if you weren't there, then the main family's bloodline would disappear, and what would happen then? The Branch family, my aunt. No, Morgan's spirit's power's too weak. The next person would be Pearls. Ah! Everything was done for her sake. It was also that Pearl would become the next master. Oh my god, I hate this. But I shall be patient, my dearest Pearl. A chance will present itself. Your time will come. Hey, we got it. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the show. Prepare to witness a man who has mastered the wonder of flight. Oh, oh, it's Dark Magician with the shirt off. The world's greatest magician. The one, the only. Maximilian Galactic. That's a fucking Yu-Gi-Oh villain. That's pretty reminiscent of how my father disappeared from my life. So, that was a little triggering. Could have used the warning for that. Thank you, Capcom. Ah, uh, it's time to go. You're right. We can't miss the last train. Listen, Nick, you have to turn on the TV. The TV? Now let's check in at the scene. Huh? What happened? Thank you. We're here at the Barry Big Circus. Ah, the BBC. The BBC. That's the circus we went to, right? They're saying that there was a murder. Yeah, they arrested him too. Arrested who? Max. The Max Gamble? Oh, they arrested Max Galactica? Welcome to the visitor's room. It's Max. Nick, look, it's the real Maximilian Galactica. All right, sweetie, pick a card, any card. He called me sweetie. Well, can I say, sweetie, you've stolen one of my most valued possessions. One of Maximilian Galactica's hearts. Yo, this guy has to slay. Absolutely fabulous. <laughs> fucking. My fucking life in a nutshell. Absolutely cringe inducing. Tell me what happened at the Barry Big Circus. Ah, uh, last night the ringmaster was murdered. The ringmaster? You mean Russell Barry? Someone smashed him over the head, I hear. What's the matter, Nick? You look all bent out of shape. I wish you would bend me out of shape. What? Pork you, I mean, sir, you're a lawyer, right? Huh? Oh, yeah, I'm an attorney. Oh, God. Oh, your makeup's running. Oh, your fucking eyelashes are falling off. Dude, that's why you gotta get these all-natural eyelashes, baby. They don't fall off. I'm not a fucking fake. These are homegrown, baby. All natural. I'm about to bust. Damn right I am, Hank. Thank you much. Y'all sure are nice folk. Uh, Max? Yes. What's your real name? It's Billy Ba- Oh, God. What's the matter, Maya? I thought that said Blumpkin. He's really just a country bumpkin. K. Kona, brother! K. Kona! What's the matter? You seem down. Maximilian Galactica. Who would have guessed he was he was country? What is your problem with him being a country bumpkin? Do you think that was his real name? I guess you're, what, were you 18 at this point? So you're still a fucking idiot kid? But come on, man! You think someone is literally named Maximilian Galactica? You stupid idiot. Yeah, has this bitch never seen Hannah Montana? I'm about to bust. God damn it, Hank. You right, Miley Cyrus is hot. Yikes, the poor guy's got three first names. Even Phoenix knows. Three first names, dude. He left something at the crime scene. One of his magician's trademarks. An incredibly well-made silk hat. You know, Nick's true rival, Miles Edgeworth. What in the world happened after I went back home? 
Edgeworth is gone. Don't say his name again, okay? Haven't you fucking read or heard of Harry Potter? You stupid bitch. I miss my boyfriend! <laughs> that is not a great way to go out. Head down, ass up. That's the way I like to die. Oh, no. All right. Let's settle this once and for all, okay? I've done some research. I've talked to my future wife. I was wrong. That's a stepladder. It's a stepladder. Upon further review, it's a stepladder. All right? I fucked up! I was living a lie. Why do I look like I'd be great at somersaults? Grr. Huh? Nick? It wasn't me. Does that person think that's a ladder? Or that's probably the bear or tiger. Nick, you're too young to die. Nick, stay. Stay. Heal. Regent is such a cute tiger, isn't he? Y you're not a clown. This little tiger hardly ever bites people. That's the same shit people with dogs say. And then it bites you. Ah, a ladder. It's just a step ladder. What's the difference? They do the same thing, right? I think you should stick with the basic facts of the matter. Oh, uh, okay. It's not even worth arguing with her on that one. Hey, Regina, what do you know about what happened last night? You mean the murder? Uh-huh. My dad was murdered. Oh, I see. Wait, what did she just say? So, the ringmaster was your... Yep. Ringmaster was my dad. Huh. You're taking it well. For someone whose father was just murdered, she seems awfully perky. And really sparkly. What the hell is that about? I wish she would tell us more about her dad. It's tough not to get charmed when she looks at you with those innocent eyes. All right, Phoenix, fucking relax. Are you going to throw yourself in jail? Calm down, man. Professionalism. Wow. What a fucking mustache. Now I get why she doesn't care. Oh my god, she's 16. All right, Phoenix. I'm going to need you to say psych, brother. Please say psych. Please say psych. Psych! 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 I'll tell you, Maya, but just you. Ah. Um, well. Mumble, mumble. What? Really? And then... Okay. Oh, my. That's incredible, Regina. Come on, Nick. There's no reason to pout. Don't worry about me. Regina told me that someone professed their love to her. Oh, no. Professed their love. Not only that... And then on the exact same day, another person professed their love for her as well. Who was it? Someone named Tr Trilla. Regina seems to be quite the hit with the men in the circus. Don't say it that way. Please, okay. You know if I want to profess my love for her. Me too, she's so cute. Would you fucking... What are you doing? I guess these are internal thoughts, but still... Everyone goes to jail. Everyone. Max. Phoenix. Trillo. The lion. The lion's dead. The tiger. Her dad. Everyone goes to jail. His stash is fake. It's on the table. It is. It looks like... It kind of looks like just two bananas. Is it the banana glove? I wish the banana glove was in every case. Just because of how fucking stupid it looked. Huh. Hey, Nick, look over there. What? There's someone over there. Excuse me. Shout out to my boy Paul Rubens for still getting work as Pee Wee Herman. In video games, I guess. Not a carny. I'm a performer, actually. I'm a ventriloquist. Your last name is Woodman. Yes. That's right. But everyone calls me... Ben. Ben, so you're a ventriloquist. I'm just a regular guy. Dude, what if this guy is the puppet? Yeah, dude, check if there's a hand in his ass. Maybe his own hand is in his ass. Oh, shit, it's Peepo Clown's room. We found his room. Honk, honk, brothers. We found it. Yes. Kablamo. He has a lot of mouths all over his outfit. 
and it makes me uncomfortable. Congratulations, you're the big wiener. Fucking no, I am not. Clowns are always funny in my book. You're a fucking freak. Then again, you wear anal beads around your neck all day, so... Of course you like clowns. <laughs> His fucking face. That could be anybody in that, though. Without question, without a doubt, it was the magician. You can't see his face. You just see... It looks like a square mur mur uh, murdered him. Just an evil rectangle. What's this? Must have been a juice bottle or something. A juice bottle? An orange juice bottle. Who gets their orange juice in a glass bottle? That makes less sense than bagged milk. Or canned water. I'm about to bust. Hank? No! Bad Hank. I plan on getting married to her. You best be waiting like five years, champ. She is truly my sweetie pie princess. Wow, that's so... No, it's not! You fucking dweeb! Alright, I'll tell you the truth. That night, the ringmaster called me to his room. He called you. Why'd he do that? Sorry, sweetie, that's private. The ringmaster called him. I wonder if there was some sort of problem. Yeah, he's trying to marry a child. Slight issue, and it's his daughter. Bigger issue. Oh, that's his puppet. I hate the puppet, man. I hate it. That ill-bred creep told my sweetie pie princess that he was in love with her. Oh, my God. To quote Zelda, There isn't a manka big enough for this whole situation. That's when I went to his room and I laid it all out on the table. I asked him to... I <laughs> asked him to let me marry my sweetie pie. What? The ringmaster told me that it sounds good. What? Trillo can't say a word, not without Ben. Trillo. Oh, that's a puppet. The puppet. The ventriloquist puppet. His real name is... Triloquist. Is Ben's full name Ben Triloquist? Cool, man. Cool name. Not to mention Regina being the cutest little thing I've ever seen. Regina. I, uh... I don't really like her too much. Huh, are you sure? Are you sure about that? John Cena comes out from like the TV in the corner. So Nick, where are we going to next? Let's see, maybe we... Who's... I'm right here, you blind wench. Oh God. Why is he T-posing? No, look at me when I'm talking to you, you 8-bit excuse for an attorney. Trillo, oh my God. Triloquist, you behave, young man. Shut up, Woody. <laughs> These two are really not couple, aren't they, Nick? Yeah, well, I prefer this couple to fucking Ben and the 16-year-old. Let me lay it all out for you. Uh, the pace sucks, the clown sucks, and my partner has his hand up my pants. Fair, but I'll be fair. In this cesspool of human garbage masquerading as performers, I found my Madonna. Your Madonna. Regina, my lovely Regina. She is stunning, right, Ben? Well, I'm not sure if I would go that far. You'll have to excuse him. He doesn't understand of what he speaks. I, on the other hand, am, am an appreciator of true beauty, hence why I shall marry her. I mean, yeah, me too with Tina. A little bit of a difference there, though. Trillo, I'll let you figure out why. I gave her a special gift. I gave her the wonderful gift of song. You'll be happy to know that I've decided to grace you with one of my songs. Me, 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 me. I want you to... T Enough jibba-jabba. Let's get to court already. Ah. Hey, wait a second. Nick, what's going on? He's a witness for tomorrow's trial. Ah. Ah, indeed. Hmm. What in the world happened with Ben and Trillo? What the fuck? Was that a monkey? Oh! Look how cute he looks! Look at his little party hat! Please let me fucking interview this monkey. Oh no! Oh, my badge! That monkey. Ah! My badge! That monkey stole it. What? What do you mean, what? You just fucking watched it happen, you idiot! God, I miss your sister. You suck. By the way, the monkey's name is Money. Money the monkey. I could respect that. Who do you think I should go for, Max or Trillo? Neither! Huh? 
Detective Gumshoe took off already. Yeah, he probably talked to everyone, got a feel for the situation, is just like, I don't care. I'm going home. I'm with Gumshoe. Just get the fuck out of there. Money does love shiny objects. It makes sense that he'd swipe your badge. But under no circumstance can you chase after him. Why is that? Oh, I know. You don't want to get involved in any monkey business, right? Oh, is that a bassoon? Oh, dude, sweet fucking orangutan calendar. Hell yeah. Don't worry, Nick. No matter what, we've got a magician on our side. Uh, that's good because we might need some magic tomorrow. We might need a fucking nuke tomorrow. Just nuke the circus, dude. Good morning, Max. Max. Milk. <laughs> Give him the milk, Josh! Oh my god, we are gonna get whipped into fucking oblivion. Yep, here it comes. Your honor, get on with it. Detective Dick Gumshoe. Get up there now. Dick, Dick, Dick. The cause of death was blunt force trauma that snapped a vertebrae in his neck. Well, just snap it back, forehead. Ben the Ventriloquist went to the front gate, absorbed in his own world. The ringmaster and Max went off to the ringmaster's room. I'm about room to bust. To bust. Just one thing. You said you ditched the clown. That's right, dress boy. Well, since you weren't with him, couldn't that mean the clown committed the crime? Honk, honk. The judge has a point? What is happening in this case? Well, if he was waiting outside in the cold, it was for one person. The monkey. And one person only. He was waiting for the animal tamer, Regina. Oh my god, is he dead? Did he just explode? You're gonna propose. You. A puppet. Don't be so obtuse. Just because I'm a puppet doesn't mean I can't love. I guess you're right. Just because I'm old doesn't mean I couldn't... I like how the music hard cut. You know that meme, jazz music stops? That's what just happened. I found this in Money's room. Money's room? You mean a room that... <laughs> okay, that's kind of funny. You mean a room they put money like a bank ball? Considering the ill temper of the witness, this witness, there is only one person uh, he would greet. It must be Regina. It's Regina, right? She's so cute. Shut the hell up. Right now. I will come back for you, Judge. I swear to God. I have acquired the dog. I'll stand. Very well, I will now call my next witness. A pitiful clown. <laughs> yes, here he comes. Peepo clown. Pitiful clown with the unfortunate distinction of having seen the entire thing. Well, Mr. Lawrence Curls. Wait, what? Oh, is he all three stooges? Because his name is Mo. Well, he goes by the name Mo. His name is Lawrence, Larry, and then curls for Curly. Mo, Larry, Curly. What a guy. Why did she just call him a pitiful clown? Because he's a clown, they're all pitiful. That's why. Oh my god. Did that just say in West Clownadelphia, born and raised? Was that there for like a frame? I, someone clipped that. Just because I need that. I need to see like the whole thing. In West Clownadelphia, born and raised, on the playground is where I spent my clowning. Clowning days, I assume is what he would say because it rhymes. That's fucking funny. Hell yeah. <laughs> there it was. It was the rest of it. Fucking clip that so I can read that as well. I know, I know. I'm not the greatest comedian in the world. Well, yeah, it's Carlos Mencia. I haven't been able to make people laugh for 10 years. No matter what I say, all I get in return is a vacant stare and a polite applause. Listen, man. On Twitch, we take those. We take those. Since no one ever laughs at my jokes, I've taken to laughing at them myself. My brother. But the witness said he was able to see the silhouette of the criminal's face. Not to mention that the roses are white. There's no way he could have missed them. Objection. Then the roses must have fallen off when the defendant assaulted the victim. If that was the case, then the police would have found them near the crime scene. Got him, bitch! Frankly, I have my doubts about the, this witness. It seems that, unlike wine, this witness has not grown more mature with age. 
Yo, at me next time, Judge. Fuck you. Now it's time for our next segment. Mo knows. Everything that I've said up till now has been the truth. When I looked out the window, the ringmaster was down and Max was standing above him. He wasn't wearing his white roses, but he was wearing the silk hat. That's when I saw... His planet needed him. He had to leave. Magic tricks are by their definition tricks, right? But I can never figure out the tricks when I see them. That's because the tricks are performed by pros. They do it so you can't guess the trick. But but the tricky uh, the trick Pearly showed me was incredible. Pearl's did a magic trick. What kind of trick was it? Let's see. It looked like she pulled the end of her own thumb off. First she put her right thumb next to her left hand and then it just separated. She could move it up and down and everything. It was incredible. Really? Was it kind of like this? What? Wow, how'd you do that, Nick? You're like a real magician. Waiting like this is part of being in love. How so? If you had a clue, you would know that waiting for... Waiting is such sweet, wonderful torture. When your body aches for your partner's love, that's one of the best parts. You wouldn't understand, Mr. Phoenix, right? I have to see him again one more time. Him? Like, like from Powerpuff Girls? Oh! My boyfriend! I mean, rival. Edgeworth. Hey, baby. The man who inspired me to become an attorney. Oh. He's cute. But can we just take a minute? He's got two birds on him, all right? Fuck this guy. The birds like him. You must be Phoenix Wright. Yes. Pleased to meet you. I'm Ken Dingling. I'm just going to say Ken. That's right. I mainly performed on the tightrope or the flying trapeze. All right. Elephant in the room. We're all thinking it. I will ask. Mr. Dingling. Where the fuck did you get that sweet orangutan calendar? You gotta hook your boy up, man. I gotta know. But nowadays, all I perform is in my wheelchair. Oh, what do you know? You're in a wheelchair. Wow, that was a quite a strong music choice. <laughs> As you can see, I'm paralyzed from the waist down. And then this music. <laughs> As you can tell, I'll never be able to perform again. Oh, this is very joyful music. Uh, huh. Okay, well. Honk, honk. Acker, why'd you join the circus? When I was a kid, my parents failed miserably at business. Then one night, they decided to run away from it all without me. The only person who was willing to take my parents' place was the ringmaster. The ringmaster- Wait. They ran away from you? Oh. Man, could someone cut the accordion? This dude was abandoned. Alright, he's 26. So if you guys want to fuck him, go for it. The nerves in my legs were badly damaged. And you can- You- You can't walk now? I can't even stand now. What a good question, Phoenix, right? Oh, you're in a wheelchair? Just fucking walk, forehead, Lamau. The accident happened during the uh, acrobatic session, right? Uh. Oh, the bur- I was in bed sleeping when I heard a huge sound coming from below my window. I see. The scene of the crime was below your window. That's when I looked out the window. What'd you see? He was flying straight up into the air. Huh. Oh, God. Stay. Stay. Heal. Hey, next time the tiger jumps on me, just let it kill me. Please. I crave death and you keep saving me. Just let him maul me. Please. I beg of you. When someone dies, they just become a star in the heavens. 
Dude, she doesn't know, lol. A star. That means that my dad is looking down on me from the sky. Well, considering you're in a tent, he can't fucking see you because the roof of the tent blocks you. You goddamn idiot. How do you handle animals? It smells so good in here, and those burgers look great. She's drooling like she's some sort of crazy burger monster. My burgers are the best. Juicy meat, toasted bun, special sauce. Why did you have to say it like that, you fucking freak? Yo, can we get can we get some claps for some juicy meat? Where are my men at? Juicy meat. Juicy meat. One bite will send you into hamburger heaven. You know what? Just send me to hamburger hell. I don't want to be on this planet anymore. Thanks, Ray. I'm Ace. Glasses, you're the horniest person I know. Please. It was about six months ago. It was just a little accident. Give me a break. Us old men have accidents. I wear big pants for a reason. Hmm, Moe's not here. Well, yeah, we just fucking saw him in the cafeteria. Why are you... Nick, it's money. That monkey's holding something. Ooh, that's a sweet vest. Dude, fuck, can I wear that vest? Yo, chat. You think I can pull off that vest? Ladies, especially your opinion. Can I pull off that vest? I love you, Mr. It nope, I don't love you back. You hear this music that's playing right now? This should have been the music playing when Acro was telling us about his accident and his parents leaving him. Not the fucking accordion music. Uh, who is Acro's younger brother? Sean Dingling, but everyone always calls him Bat. He fell in love with... Oh my god. Of course he did. Yeah, why not, man? Why not? Let's just get everyone in the goddamn jail. He was smiling. Uh, can we get some brown... Some brown doggers in chat? It kind of looks like Leon's making the brown doggers face. Except his eyes are closed. He was smiling. He? You mean Leon? Yes. Leon, when he bit down, he was smiling. Oh. The next day, the ringmaster took Leon out and shot him with a rifle. Fuck, it sounds like you should have shot a fucking bat with a rifle as well. Maybe line them up, get a sweet collateral. Maybe 360 or something. Why, why ladder stall? Really a missed opportunity from the ringmaster, to be completely honest with you. Does Regina sneeze with Pepper too? She does. Bat would always tease her with Pepper. Six months ago, you were attacked by the lion. That's when you were injured. You seem to enjoy telling jokes. Why would I decide to battle a lion? Because you had to fight it, you had to save someone. Money! That. It was a shame what happened to your brother six months ago. You tried to save him, didn't you? And that's how you got that terrible injury. Leon was never taught a command to attack people. Regina isn't capable of doing anything like that. Well, here's proof that you had it out for Regina all along. Um, where is it? This. Where'd you get it? Regina posted on the bulletin board in the cafeteria. Before that, it was in her pocket. My legs were injured by Leon. Six months ago, my younger brother, uh, Bat, had a dare with Regina. A dare? An absurd dare. If I can put my head inside of Leon's mouth like you do, you have to go on... Have to go to the movies with me on a date. Men are fucking dumb! We are really dumb. Fuck, we suck, dude. <laughs> Big shout out to all the women in the world that put up with men and allow us to flop around you to reproduce. Because that is all we're good for. That's it. Once women learn how to reproduce without us, we're fucked. Honestly, women who are into men. Have you seen other women? When Leon chomped down, I jumped toward him. Then Leon attacked me, and that's how I ended up. What about Bat? He's still in a coma. I mean, you know, the Bat was pretty dumb. Uh, you know, the age thing is, is, is also an issue that no one is really taking into account. 
anybody, not one person, just me. No one is... Okay. This is the scarf my brother was wearing when Leon attacked him. Gross, it's covered in blood. This scarf. It was a present from Regina to my brother on the day of the accident. Oh. Huh. When he did it, he looked like he was smiling. Leon, obviously. Oh, what is up with your fucking arms, dude? It looks like your arms are goddamn Q-tips with your shoulder pads. Now, what do we do, Nick? How are we going to handle tomorrow? Don't worry about it. I'll figure something out. A lot of crying myself to sleep will get me through it, I'm sure. Look at you, full of confidence. Your Honor, we've lost the case. Acro's on the stand. I have one question for him. You can't run from me, man. Where'd you get this goddamn orangutan calendar? Tell me. I need to know. <laughs> You're under oath. Great band, by the way. You're under oath. Where'd I get the calendar? Top of the morning. To Yo, Jack Septic Guy is here. Oh, shit. Never mind. You claim to have seen the exact same thing Mo uh, saw that night. Do you stand by that? What do you mean? The silk hat. What about the silk hat? I saw it on Max's head as he flew by my window. Well, you should have tried looking down out of your window that night. That would be quite difficult considering the state that I'm in. Just looking outside the window was a tough enough challenge for me. That's a shame be Oh, you can't stand to look out the window because you're handicapped? That's a shame because you would have noticed the silk hat found on the scene. All right, Phoenix, let's dial it back. The man's in a wheelchair, your honor. On this occasion, the fence accuses Acro himself. On this occasion, accuses Acro. What in the world are you accusing him of? Obviously, we accuse him of the murder of Mr. Russell Berry. Mr. Dingling, <laughs> do you have any response to the fence's accusation? See? Even a sliver of common sense makes it clear the accusation is ludicrous. Luda! She's right. Way to pick on the disabled, you heartless, cruel man. Phoenix is a poopy head! Whoa. Alright. No need for P-bombs. Acro wasn't able to leave the lodging house by himself. In that case, there can only be... Uh... Can be only one correct answer. <laughs> the birds did it! It's quite a large bust. And because of its life size, it's also very heavy. Drop that shit out the window. You can see the hat, you can see the jacket. But there's no rose on it. Heavy. Heavy enough to guarantee a certain death. Especially if it was dropped from a third story window. Oh shit, the birds fucked off. It's true. The birds fucked off. I may very well have been able to drop the bus from my room. However, how would I have gotten the bus from the cafeteria to my room? Oh, well, the monkey. The monkey brings all that shit to your room. I asked who was the other person Mo saw, saw on the scene. That evidence has nothing to do with the question. Oh, au contraire, mon frere. Hell yeah. Some Swahili for the courtroom. Now this is when the magic happens. At the very instant that the bus hit the victim... I'm about to bust. Good one, Hank. The impact of the bust on the victim threw the cloak up, which snagged onto the bust. You didn't plan to kill the ringmaster at all, did you? The ringmaster wasn't your target that night. What'd you just say? Oh my god, did he want to kill the little girl? I'm saying that the target of the witness, witness's murderous plot was not the ringmaster. Because it was never his intention to kill Russell Berry to begin with. The conclusive evidence about the incident six months ago... Hmm. Achoo! What kind of spicy joke is this, Mr. Phoenix, right? Oh, did this bitch put pepper around the scarf and that made the lion essentially sneeze and it bit down when it sneezed? Oh, fuck! Dude, that's some next level shit. Yo, that little girl's a murderer. So the lion died for no reason! Yo, fuck everyone in this case, dude. Everyone sucks. Fool it. Dick's out for Leon, dude. My dick's already out for Leon. I'm ahead of the game. I can't stand up or I'll be banned. Do you spend your entire life dreaming up new ways to be a fool? Me? Yeah. Regina gave the scarf to the bat right before the accident. And she covered it with as much pepper as she could. Some would say she peppered it with pepper. 
Good joke, Ray. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Wright. You've done a good job of fingering it. Say something else. Change your fucking dialogue, sir. You better fucking change your dialogue. My hands are right here. Everyone in the courtroom, you see my hands? I'm not fingering anybody, all right? They're right here. Not to mention the fact that there's an even bigger problem with your theory. What would that problem be? The same problem it's always been, evidence. If I drop Max's bus on top of the ringmaster, where's the evidence that proves that claim? But to put a point on it, Max's bus was not in the room. The murder weapon is still unaccounted for. You see, Mr. Wright? The bus wasn't in my room. Do something, Nick. Don't let this case slip away. The bus, where is it now? It's in this court. It's, pro he's pr it's probably in his fucking wheelchair, dude. No one's gonna fucking check a paralyzed man's wheelchair. That's fucked up. It's obvious. The bus is inside this very courtroom. It, it's obviously where? It's not his dick. It's a bust. Ha 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 ha. Once again, your penchant for humor hits me where it hurts, Mr. Wright. All my brother wanted was for Regina to like him. That's why he teased her. One day, my brother sprinkled some pepper on Regina. She started sneezing so hard, you couldn't help yourself from laughing. That's why Regina thought it'd be funny to get him back in the same way. By killing him via lion. I'm an idiot. Mood. I can't believe it. You beat me again. Uh, uh. Double dab for the double win. Ayo! Acro didn't want to get caught for a reason. He wanted to see his brother open his eyes again. Bat. Yeah, you know, the one you, uh, pretty much killed. That's right, Regina. He's still alive, you know. I never knew. Okay. He's alive, but just because he's plugged in. Literally, if the doctor misstepped and tripped and took the cord, he's dead. I'm sure she's going to wander on over. She's probably going to bring her, her fucking tiger... Just spray the whole room with pepper. The tiger's gonna sneeze, unplug it, and then the tiger's gonna get shot by the cops or something. I don't know. Who the fuck? You should be... Degenerates like you belong on the cross. Children were a mistake. I see. What made the case? Yesterday's surprise raid. It really paid off, just like you said it would, sir. Uh, you had it all figured out, didn't you? It was just the theory. Yo, show my boyfriend. Do it, you fucking cowards. Of course. Well, detective, my plane's about to leave. As for Mr. Akros' case, you need not worry. I plan to personally stop by the chief prosecutor's office. Yeah, bitch! Boyfriend's back. Oh, so he was wearing blue instead of red. Does that mean we're on the same side? Also, every single one of those characters is horrible. Literally, if a fire engulfed the circus and all of them were in there, I wouldn't care. You know who deserved better? Leon. Leon deserved better. Leon didn't need to die for this. What a goddamn good lion. I call bullshit. Dicks out for Leon. Hold on. Now the moment you've been waiting for, who will be this year's Grand Prix champion? Who will be our hero of heroes? Oh my god, it's that guy. That looks like Pepsi Man as a samurai on the right. Hero of Heroes Grand Prix is me! Oh! Look who it is! It's the Steel Samurai. Oh, the Nickel Sam- Oh, I'm sorry. The Nickel Samurai. Oh, look who it is! It's Hugh Jackman. Mr. Nick, you're a grown-up. You're not allowed to watch it anymore. You're supposed to act your age and have interests that match. What do 30-year-olds like? I have no idea. Help me. Freeze! You two. Didn't you hear the announcement just now? It's just finished telling you not to move. That voice. I've heard that voice somewhere before. Honestly, youth these days can't be bothered to listen to other people when they talk. Just the other day... It... Oh no. Oh no. Don't take the helmet off. Don't do it. This non-stop chatter. I... It can't be Miss Oldbag? 
my uniform and tell me you can't tell I'm a member of security. I can't, you're right. Annoying no uh, noisy brats get the blaster. <laughs> That was pretty funny. What did I ever do to deserve that? That's me shooting all the haters with my ray gun. So wherever I go, showers of blood are sure to follow. Bet you didn't know that. Uh, then you shouldn't you quit being a security guard at least for other people's sake? Silence whippers. <laughs> You'd walk over miles of hot coals for Mystic Maya, wouldn't you, Mr. Nick? Maybe for Edgeworth, not her. Then let's try. Excuse me. What? Maybe it's a disability. I shouldn't bring it up. That southern accent can only mean... Hey, right? Oh, no. You have so many teeth. It's like a horse. It wasn't the Nickel Samurai that got bumped. Actually, the Nickel Samurai is the one under suspicion of doing the bumping off. Oh, shit! What? The guy that died was this hero named the Jammin' Ninja, pal. The Jammin' Ninja? He was on a really popular rival TV show to the Nickel Samurai. Oh. Oh. Yo, what up, Juan? Oh, you're dead. Yo, what up, Juan? Is this Mr. Phoenix Wright, the attorney? And uh, you are. You don't need to know who I am. I think you have other things to be concerning yourself with, such as... Ah, uh, you can keep her. Mystic Maya! No, I don't... We went through a tunnel. It was all static. If you do what I require, then I will return to you your valuable item unharmed. Bring me back Edgeworth. Unless you are Edgeworth, in which case this is awkward. What is this... Called, again, in your fancy lawyer terms. Kidnapping for ransom. Yes, that's it. This is a kidnapping. Yo, someone's going hard on a fucking synthesizer there. Hell yeah. He did not kill anyone. I can attest to that. However, however what? However, someone is framing him for the murder. A very smart someone who is setting him up to take the fall. The banana glove. You have two days. Of course, tonight he will be in questioning with the police. But the trial is in two days. At that trial, you will win a not guilty verdict. Damn it, who who the hell are you? Very well, I'll tell you that much. My name is... Adikila. No, it's all my fault. If only I had gone with Mystic Maya, I know then both of you would have been kidnapped. And oh, life would be so much better. Come on, you guys. This isn't funny anymore. That jacket's so cool. What the fuck? Why does everyone in this game look so cool? I'm a lawyer. My name is Phoenix Wright. A lawyer. What the fuck? He's a goddamn Power Ranger. Exactly. Sorry to intrude, but I would like to ask you a few personal questions. Uh, that's okay. But dude, my autobiography is coming out soon, so... If I say stuff without the publisher's approval, then I'm going to be in real hot water. Yep. Gotta watch out for your publisher. He's going to call him. Mr. On Guard, I'd like to ask you about the murder. Oh, are you covering this for a tabloid as a side job, dude? Uh, uh, well, if you want the statement on this, you should ask through my staff. No, no, no. I'm not asking on behalf of a tabloid. He's going to ask the president of the studio. I'm beginning to gather that this guy can't do a thing on his own. R relatable. Relatable. I need Tina for everything. Miss Oldback, could you please speak a little slower? Don't boss me around, you spiky-haired smarty pants. <laughs> That's always gonna be funny to me. Just like the pose. It's the fucking puts the helmet back on, gets the gun out, and has the pose. It's so good. That is a shape. I know it's clearly a camera, but we're in Mr. Matt on guard's dressing room. This is our client's room. May I help you with something? Oh. Before the award ceremony, I had dinner with Mr. On guard. In this very room, I might add. Dinner, what'd you eat? Pussy! I told you I hate to waste time with trifling details. Uh, oh my god. 
Sorry, I was scrolling down on the guide and I missed, uh, this. Mr. Nick, where are we? We're in hell right now is where we are. There's a knife in his chest. Yep, pal, that's the murder weapon. That looks like just like a butter knife. They must have got that shit in there real good. He has armor. No, I think it, I think the armor's on his arms. Hence the name armor. <laughs> good joke, Ray. I think he's just wearing fabric on his chest. But still. You know, I'm going to be honest. I was expecting a samurai sword. Or a trident. Or something cool. But yeah, it looks like he just got stabbed with a butter knife. Also, there's a broken vase. Some apple or tomato wine or juice. His guitar is gone. His J.O. lotion is right under the desk. And uh, I don't know what's on the desk right there. Yeah, one look at the uh, crime scene, you can tell. There's signs of a struggle everywhere. I mean, yeah, there's a sign of a mental struggle everywhere, too. What's with all the fucking bears? Is that one a robot? Why are they in his bed? Why are they in both beds? It's a beautiful wine glass, and there's tomato juice in it. Ew, tomato juice. I don't really like it much. Someone forgot to drink their V8. Maybe that's why he was killed by a butter knife. <laughs> uh, this is a guitar case, I guess. I guess? What else would it be? It's Miss Von Karma. Huh? For some reason, whenever I hear that sound, she pops up out of nowhere and whips me. Come to think of it, that's exactly what happened last time. Sorry, I've got to make myself scarce later, pal. Fucking jumps out the window to his death. To be honest, I've never seen writing that looks like this. Ah, uh, it's a special way of writing called cursive. They teach you it in third grade, and then you never use it going forward in life. Ah, if you're interested, I'd be glad... Uh, I'd be glad... <laughs> if you're interested, I'd be glad share what I know. Literally unplayable. I think it's like the third or second typo or something. Dude... $30 game, by the way. Remastered, by the way. Literally unplayable. Roblox better. Oof. Would you mind telling me about this gossip? Can you spill the tea, sis? See, chat? I may be 30, but I know the lingo. Mr. Karita didn't have a manager of his own. What's more, his rival, Mr. Unguard's manager, Adrian Andrews, she has the initials AA. Like Ace Attorney. Oh my god, am I sleeping with him? Well, things look perfect this time around. The evidence and testimony are airtight. Hey, mister, but you want to wrestle? Hey, Gumshoe, you want to wrestle? Well, two years ago, a woman. Wow. That. Oh, total 180. We were having a good time. Really bringing the mood down there. If it weren't for traitors like you, I would have won. Is that what you want to say? Who? That voice. He's here. Edgeworth! If you ever feel the need for my assistance, it is available to you. I do need it all the time. Punt that little girl away. Who cares? She sucks. Me? Following after Scruffy? Don't make me laugh. Let me show you something interesting, little girl. Is that the device used to find the Dragon Balls? Oh my god, Samus Aran, is that little notebook you're holding a notebook from frameratemerch.com? Thank you so much for ordering one. Chat, wouldn't you like one? I think they're actually sold out, never mind. But check out the website every- anyway, maybe- maybe buy something. Please? I'll love you forever. Somehow, Miss Andrews, it seems that you- YOU! Have become the one with a reason to want Miss Akarita dead. Me? Miss Impax was everything to you. And then she died. That's it, man. She just died. No big deal. It looks like the Ubisoft logo on a seashell. That's what it looks like, doesn't it? I honestly don't remember owning this card. I wonder where I picked it up from. What about Mystic Maya? Is she all right? Oh, Pearl. She looks so worn out by all of this. I forgot all about Maya, to be completely honest with you. Ah. Someone dropped a card here. Kind of looks like a business card, but there's no name on it. Dude, what the fuck's with the seashell? What's with the zipper face? What's happening in this fucking game? Why is everyone committing suicide, chat? All right, our first trial. Only two hours in. Yikes. Miss Von Karma was shot in her right shoulder. Oh, that's where the brain is. And is currently undergoing surgery. Now then, the prosecution would like to call its first witness. Mo the Clown. Oh, right. Don't you. Take a good hard look at the crime photo. Now, a real pro's attention could be drawn here to this bandana. Hmm. Banana. The glove. Uh, his bandana, sir. That's the thing wrapped tightly around his neck. Ah, uh, yes. Yes, I see. His banana-scented banana- ban mm. Banana-scented bandana. 
First, the victim was choked to death with his bandana. Choke me, daddy. I'll find the hole in your argument somehow. You can press as hard as you like. On to you, or... I can't believe I fell into another trap. Me playing Yu-Gi-Oh. Now then, witness, please state your name and occupation. Witness, your name and occup... <laughs> gotcha. Give it here, give it here. If you don't give it to me, I'll punish you with this. <laughs> now hold your tongue still there for one second. So, so what you saw in actuality was not Mr. On Guard the man. But Mr. On Guard, the Nickel Samurai. Get ready, this is gonna take the wind out of you, you youngins. Blah, blah. I knew this was coming, right? Your thoughts, Mr. Edgeworth? I think we can all agree there is nothing strange with this photo. There's no way for this defense to defunk, defunk, debunk this photo, even with a bunker, bunker buster. Yo, dude, you play Worms? Edgeworth, confirmed Worms player. Mr. Wright, let's see your thoughts. Who is the person in this photograph? It is none other than the guitar case. Let me ask you one simple question, Mr. Edgeworth. Are you single? I think we have reached a certain conclusion at this point in time. Miss An Adrian Andrews has refused to testify, and the defense's theory that she's the actual murderer has not been fully substantiated with solid definitive proof. Of course not. This is why the cases are eight hours long. You do everything correct, and it's just like... No, you didn't. And then it goes on for three more hours. <laughs> you know, at this point, I'm pretty convinced the tomato juice killed everybody. And committed suicide. And did all the wrongdoings. So you honestly didn't think he was dead when you found him. No, not at all. Even though this is what you saw when you discovered the body. Oh, dude, he's, he's taking a nap with a knife in him. Ah, he's, he's fine. Let me pour this fucking glass of juice. Ah. Have we, have we found the truth at last? You know, Phoenix, it's only been three and a half hours, and it looks like we're only... We're not even halfway through the guide. There looks like there's another case within this case. But we're still on this goddamn juice thing. God damn it. Now then, I would like to hand down my verdict for Mr. Matt Ungard. Objection. Fucking end my existence. This witness, how should I put this? She has an illness. Yeah, of course she does. What? And because of this illness, she has tried to commit suicide in the past. Wow, dude, really dragging her. All right. What will you do now? With <laughs> oh, my God. What are you going to do now, witness? What, are you going to kill yourself again? <laughs> She's got ligma. I will now reveal to the court the true nature of the pitiful woman known as- Oh my god. Please, please stop. I beg you, if people find out, if people find out, I- I'll- If you're gonna say you would choose death, that is of no concern to me! Edgeworth, how can you be so cold? However, before you die, I will pull the truth from your still breathing lips. Fucking drag her! Same, man. This case is still going, Phoenix. We're not even halfway done, brother. Surprise, chat. Got a surprise. Yes, give me all your subs and all your money for my dog, please. Riley, you got 2,000 bits. Where are you going to spend them on? You excited? Kiss your friends goodbye. You're close. You're licking the mic stand. No, a little higher. There you go. All right, some goodbye kisses. Oh, it's the bigger one. Oh. Miss Charlie, how's it going? Dude, it's a little bit higher. Oh, oh. You don't want to give kisses to your friends right here? Any kisses? Any? Okay. Just pretend she kissed you. She looked like she was being tortured to death, not being able to go to the trial today. So maybe it'd be good for her if you want to let her whip you for a bit, pal. Let's go let her. Oh, no. The name of the hospital. Oh, no. Not the hottie clinic. Oh, God. Please don't let him be here. Never thought I'd ever come back to this place. Fuck! Immediately. I was shot in front of the courthouse on my right shoulder. But it's no big deal. This sort of thing happens all the time. Does it, though? Listen, right. This is top secret information. You absolutely cannot leak this. A special investigation team has existed for a number of years, but few know of it. I understand. Their task is to find the owner of this card. A man called Shelly the Killer. The killer is the name of a long-standing line of assassins. Well, I would hope so. 
Imagine being named Fred the Killer and being a fucking accountant. You're kind of locked into your line of work. So because his professional name is Shelly, he leaves cards with a shell on them? Oh, fuck this guy. Right? Listen, you need to know something. Juan Corridor is killed by she Shelly the Killer. And the client who ordered the job is Matt's on guard, your own client. Please stop. I can't listen to you. I can't believe that. La 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 la. Oh, Mr. Wright. So actually, I have a favor to ask of you. I have this cat named Shu. I didn't put out a lot of food when I left the house, so he's probably pretty hungry. You think you could drop by my house and feed Shu for me, dude? My house is just a little ways down from the hotel, all right? Do you think it's actually a cat or is it the Chin Pokemon Shu? I'll go and turn on a light. Hey guys, remember where we parked the motorcycle? We might need it later. Come on, Mr. Nick, let's find Shu, the kitty cat. Hell yeah, the whip song. So I guess this is Shu. Ah, what a lovely cat. Hello, Shu. Tee hee, the cat seems to like pearls. Pardon me. Oh my god, he could. Wee woo, wee woo, wee woo. I am the family butler, John Doe. Seems legit. How does he not recognize this guy? Uh, well, you know, he doesn't have any, like, any standout features that would make him, you know, recognizable. Nothing at all. Not a single thing. I want to ask you about the night of the murder. What? You're really going to shell out the bucks for the info I got? Lottie, you were loitering in this hallway the night of the murder, were you not? Well, kind of, but gracious yourself, Phoenix, here it comes. <laughs> she has a bassoon. Get down. Mr. Nick, what is that otherworldly, ghastly moaning? I hate evil ghosts. Mwah. I don't think it's a ghost. Maybe it's a demon. God fucking damn it. Excuse me. What are you calling a demon, brat? Ah, zoinks. It's the alien. Who are you calling an alien? <laughs> I'll be taking this for now. W Wait, the bear? The whole thing? Sure you have other things you have to do. I guess he just took the bear. See you soon, right? Feels sort of tense in here, doesn't it, Mr. Nick? Oh, yeah, that's the blue badger behind you. It's always extremely tense in here when that motherfucker's just staring down at you. Dude, I suddenly just got totally hungry. You up for a pizza? My treat. Hell yeah, dude! Uh, mister. Do you not fucking know what a pizza is? I'm caught. <laughs> I'm calling Child Protective Services, because this is enough. This is enough. Well, let's see. Matt's always been kind of a player with women. He would never really turn a pretty face away, if you know what I mean. He'd always say, it's just a game to justify himself. Oh, cool. What a guy. What? How horrible. That's unforgivable. Wait, you understood all of that, but you don't know what a pizza is? Oh, hey. So did you hear about this yet? About Miss Andrew's mentor uh, and her suicide? You mean Miss Impacts? Well, this is what I think. I think that something bad was written on the note. Oh, you think? Something bad for Juan, that is. It's just a picture of a gnome. <laughs> Celeste hung herself. Juan came running in. Oh, no! My... I don't know what she is at this point because they broke up. Oh, is that a suicide note? Oh, it's upside down. Turns it over. Woo! He just crumples it up and throws it away. Fuck you, bitch! A gnoming after you're dead? Now that's epic. How do you still have a fucking phone? Oh, I'm gonna consult myself. Mood. Well, I guess it's probably about time anyway. Let's see what fucking twist we got now. What M. Night Shyamalama Ding Dong thing we have here. About time for what? Oh, it's this guy. Hey, man. Maya, what am I supposed to do? The twist was this guy was actually an asshole. I have faith you will see it before the verdict is read tomorrow. Redemption arc. Yeah, no shit, right? 
But if you can't, then you will be powerless to change the ending of the story. All right, Edgeworth, I know there's two endings. Don't fucking spoil it. Now then, if you'll excuse me, if someone were to trace the signal back to me, it would be quite troublesome. Oh, he kidnapped a cat. What? It was the same guy! Are you fucking kidding me? Literally everyone knows this! I think I know where Shelly the killer is holding Maya hostage. Oh, do you? Are you saying we could have cut five hours out of this case? If we just use common sense? I don't recognize the zipper thing on his face, but that cat's meow? There's only one cat on this planet. It has to be Shu. But hey, man. That cloak on the bust? Phoenix figured that shit out. Oh my god, this game just doesn't fucking end. <laughs> Where do you keep getting the alcohol from? Looks like we're coming to the end. Fucking jokes on you, Phoenix. As soon as you heard that the bellboy might have been the killer, you got caught up in believing it must be true. But, but isn't he really suspicious? He's got all those stitches and... So, a baseball has stitches. Are you saying all baseballs are suspicious because they have stitches? This is why the trial is going to take three hours, isn't it? We're accusing baseballs now. The banana glove. Uh, so what if he had gloves? A lot of bellboys wear gloves. Come on, Mr. Wright. That bellboy is wearing black leather ones. So a football. Oh, my fucking Lord. A football is made of leather. Are you saying all footballs are suspicious because they're made of leather? A tent. Huh? A tent. I could see a circus tent. Honk, honk. Yo, Peepo Clown. It's Peepo Clown. He has her. With my hunk of a car, I'd say I'll be there in about 20 minutes, sir. Don't worry, I'll be there. Wait for me. All right, just get here in one piece. Was that Gumshoe? Is he here? You know, I appreciate Gumshoe trying to end this case as fast as possible. He took one for the team, and I think he's dead now. But he tried. Now that he failed, we have at least 13 hours more ahead of us. The witness is one who is perfectly fit to answer once and for all the question of who was, who was it that hired Shelly the killer to commit murder? Oh no. That's impossible. Who in the, no such person exists who can answer that question with certainty. Yes, Mr. Edgeworth. Who is the witness? It is, it's, uh, yes, go on. Peepo Clown. The man himself, Mr. Shelly the killer. Oh, Mr. The Killer. Wait, Shelly the killer? Now then, witness. Is he fucking interviewing the walkie-talkie? Seven hours! By the way... Very good, sir. My name is- Why is it moving? My name is Shelly the Killer, and I am a professional assassin. Who gave you the right to be so high and mighty? To the gentleman who spoke just now, excuse me, but would you care to die? Yes. My question is, did you really meet Adrian Andrews in person? I have already told you, Mr. Wright, I did. It was only through talking with him. Oh, face to face, I began to trust him. That's when I thought, I can trust this person as a client. Your Honor, I believe the testimony just now was the utmost of importance. Imagine being a master assassin and lying for hours and then being fucked because you said him instead of her. If you had ever met Adrian Andrews in person, sweats and radio, one look would have told you that she is a woman. Well, great. Now we can't talk to him because the radio exploded. That means Mr. The Killer's client could not have been Adrian Andrews. What the fuck is that? I know that's supposed to be sweat. Is that like... Is... Is that syrup? It's Nutella. It's oil? Why is there oil on a radio? Maya, I'm sorry. But not really because you kind of suck. Matt on guard is... Objection. Oh, shit! Q-tip is here. Uh, we're gonna get the bad ending first, and then we're gonna get the good ending, by the way. I apologize for its ugliness. But there was nothing else to wrap the items in. Somewhere among the evidence we're about to see, there will be something that will turn this whole situation around like a miracle. Three banana gloves! Everything that has happened up to this point. Think, Phoenix, think. There must be a way to save Maya while taking on guard down at the same time. There is! But not now. 
Now then, Mr. Wright, let's not waste any more time. Who would you like to show the evidence to? Uh, Maya Faye. Lamau. I see. And now, tell this court what one piece of evidence you would like to show this person. Attorney's badge. Oops! I'm afraid I cannot allow the defense to continue. This court finds the defendant, Matt, on guard. Not guilty. And just like that, the case was at the end. I ran away from the courtroom and wandered the streets alone. I never saw Maya again. Wow, dude. I heard the verdict of Miss Andrews' trial a few days later. She was found guilty, of course. The miracle never happened. Sure it is. The case ended. Maybe it was never meant to. And we're going to get an achievement. Because a miracle is something that doesn't exist. Jesus Christ. The end. <laughs> Miracles aren't real, idiot. Kill yourself. The end. Now we can get the good ending. Not impossible to turn the situation around in one try. Good ending time. One tr Dude, imagine getting the bat, spending like, not using a guide, and spending like 30 hours on this case, and getting the bad ending, and being like, what do you have to say to that, Shelly the Killer? Oh, the syrup's back. My contract with my client is over as of now. I seem to have a new job on my hands. I will now return to you your precious item. What the? I'm not an item. Mr. Engard, it looks like somehow you got what you wanted. You will finally receive the acquittal you wanted so badly. You should be happy. But before that, I would like to make one final statement. Sometime in the near future, one very betrayed assassin may appear before you. Needless to say, that man is very good at what he does. I'm sure you would understand what I mean if you watch this video. Help me. We have finally reached the end of a long battle. No shit! Uh, even if you get an acquittal, the instant you set foot outside the detention center, your life would be in danger. No matter which way you look at it. You can't run away from your crime anymore. Oh my god. Right. Edgeworth. I have good news. Maya is now safe in police custody. Wait, so are we just not going after the assassin at all? We're just gonna... Let the assassin kind of just... Alright. I decided that the Miles Edgeworth I knew had died. At least that's what I told myself. You pathetic fool. Miss Von Karma. I don't want to hear the wretched whimpering of a disgraced loser. Don't watch my stream then. Ever. Uh, okay. Nick? Hey! Maya! You didn't die on the way here. G good? <laughs> Fuck. Hey, pal, sorry to keep you guys waiting. Gumshoe, are you alright? Yeah, but I'm really embarrassed. I didn't think I would hit a telephone pole of all things. <laughs> hey, we finished it. It's time to begin our quest of World Circus Domination, sweetie. And to let the world know we are serious, I plan to make a fabulous flight to Zimbabwe. Oh, no. Demon! My favorite? But it, I still didn't like, like it. It's Mo! Let's go to Mo. You know, I will say, case 2-4 is good just because of the... There it is! She knew! 